Om, welcome, Jai, Namaste, all the wonderful greetings. Uh, I want to do another little short guided meditation um, focusing on upon awakening. So in addiction recovery, um, there are a set of instructions of things to do in the morning. I talked about these in our um, eight-week healing uh, process. So I just wanted to demonstrate, you know, what that looks like. Now, I don't always sit out here on my deck, but it's freaking beautiful. And, you know, we have the forest behind us here um, in Lancaster County. So I really like the, uh, the atmosphere and being able to hear the birds. And um, you might also hear some traffic. And I live right next to a farm, so <laughs> hopefully it stays semi-quiet that way. Um, but my... My addiction and alcoholism had brought me to this deep, profound level of spiritual understanding. So I wanted to look at why that maybe came about, and it's doing things like I'm doing right now every single morning for the past six years. Um, I had just cleared six months of continuous sobriety. Um, I didn't do that myself. Um, that was, uh, first of all, gifts from God, and it was because of all the people that came before me that taught me this way of life that I'm even sitting here in front of you today. So, um, you know, congratulations to AA, congratulations to uh, yoga and spirituality, because uh, without that stuff, I wouldn't be alive. So I'm very passionate about this. Um, it opened up worlds of my uh, of life that I didn't know I could walk through, and I'm very grateful for all of that. So I wanted to demonstrate what a morning meditation looks like for me. Um, Although I must say, I usually only use one singing bowl, um, sometimes no singing bowl, um, but I know that really helps people when they're just beginning, so um, it's not a, ne a necessity, you don't have to have singing bowls, um, but it is good to have like some background music on or something, or even just the sound of nature and things like that, so pe put yourself somewhere peaceful, because um, the mornings are so important, you know, if we don't start the day off right, chances are we're going to have... Um, some problems, you know, so we got to connect to the power, we got to connect to the source, um, or God as you will, um, in the morning, so that way we can go about that day and spread that light to others, that's what, that's what I was taught anyway. So, um, first thing I want to read here is On Awakening, um, this is on page 86 of Alcoholics Anonymous, I may have um, read this in our um, previous workshop, but I read it every day, or I at least review what it, what it talks about every day. So uh, it says, on awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. We consider our plans for the day. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking, especially asking that it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. Under these conditions, we can employ our mental faculties with assurance, for after all, God gave us brains to use. Our thought life will be placed on a much higher plane when our thinking is cleared of wrong motives. In thinking about our day we may face indecision. We may not be able to determine which course to take. Here we ask God for inspiration and intu an intuitive thought or decision. We relax and take it easy. We don't struggle. We are often surprised how the right answers come after we had tried this for a while. So the first paragraph is saying, um, you know, the prayer, God direct our thinking, especially asking it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, or self-seeking motives. Um, and then it, the next paragraph, it goes into what to do during the day if we're faced with indecision. Um, so that's like taking that prayer, bringing it back or, you know, having another prayer. Um, and then it goes on to say what used to be a hunch or the occasional inspiration gradually becomes a working part of the mind. Being still inexperienced and having just uh, made contact with God, it is probable that we are not going to be inspired all the time. We might pay for this presumption in all sorts of absurd, absurd actions and ideas. Nevertheless, we find that our thinking will, as time passes, be more and more on this plane of inspiration we come to rely upon it. We usually conclude the period of meditation with a prayer that, that we be shown all through the day what our next step is to be, that we be given whatever we need to take care of such problems. We ask especially for freedom from self-will, and are careful to make no requests for ourselves only. So there's directly telling you how to pray. Um, pray that 
all will be involved and not only for yourself. We may ask for ourselves, however, if others will be helped. We are careful never to pray for our own selfish ends. Many of us have wasted a lot of time doing that, and it doesn't work. You can easily see why. Um, so I like to review that. Um, one other thing I would like to do today before we actually meditate um, is I randomly will read the Daily Reflection. Um, I took a glance at it earlier, and I literally read the first line. All right, like You can't make this shit up, okay? I, I was like, maybe the Daily Reflection will have something good for me to share with meditation. The first line says, it's entitled, uh, Living in the Now. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read this also. Um, just These are things just to get our the flow of consciousness going in the right direction. First we, first, we try living in the now just in order to stay sober, and it works. Once the idea has become a part of our thinking, we find that living life in 24-hour segments is an effective and satisfying way to handle many other matters as well. That's from uh, Living Sober, page 7. Um, then it goes on to say, One day at a time, to a newcomer this and other one-liners of AA may seem ridiculous. The passwords of AA fellowship can become lifelines in moments of stress. Each day can be like a rose unfurling according to the plan of power of the power greater than myself. My program should be planted in the right location just as just as it will need to be groomed, nourished, and protected from disease. My planting will require patience and my realiz realizing that some flowers will be more perfect than others. Each stage of the petals unfolding can bring wonder and delight if I do not interfere or let my expectations override my acceptance, and this brings serenity. Love it. I just love this stuff, man. Um, sorry about the wind. If it hits the microphones, it might sound a little weird. I did my best to kind of muffle them. Uh, so, with all that in mind, let's take a moment. Let's settle into our med meditation. Um, so, gently closing your eyes. Connecting with the wind, the air, coming to that, living in the moment, taking things just for today, one breath at a time, as Thich Nhat Hanh would say, breathe, exhale out. Deep breath in. Release, relax. Listen to all the sounds. Give yourself permission to take a break here. Sometimes we have to give ourselves permission to pray. From my experience, the ego doesn't always like me to pray. So we ask our Creator, please divorce our minds from self-pity, self-seeking motives, that we may be useful and helpful to other individuals, that we may display God's power through us, and that we remain at peace and ease as we be of service to this world. Receive a nice deep breath into your heart, like you're planting that seed. Exhale. Each breath being the water and the nourishment for this prayer and these new intentions. Allowing ourselves just for a period of relaxation. I like to breathe in through the chakras, so I'll take you through that. I feel the chakras and AA are very similar. So first, let's connect to Earth. Let's ground. Nice deep breath in. Exhale out. Breathing in 
into the lower belly. Inhale. Clear out any unwanted emotions. Breathing into the center of the belly. May our will be aligned with God's will. Exhaling out. Breathing in through the heart. Inhale. May our hearts be aligned with our Creator. Exhale. Good positive intentions into the throat. Breathe in. Exhaling out. May we be impeccable with our word. Up to the third eye. Breathing in. May our thought life be on the plane of inspiration. Exhale. Inhaling up to the crown. May it stay connected to the power throughout this day, this 24 hours, and be of service to others. And just relax yourself, enjoy some of the peaceful sounds for the next five or 10 minutes. like you could drop back into your heart. Follow your breath just in and out through your heart space. Doing our best to sit at perfect peace and ease.
applying some affirmation. Listening to all the subtle sounds. simple practice of letting go. Anything that's in the mind, anything that's in the emotions, or in the physical body. Take a nice, slow, deep breath in, and let it all go. Create space within, inhale. Breathing in life force energy. Exhale, releasing anything that doesn't serve us or won't serve anybody else today. Place your hands over your heart. Try and feel the connection to compassion, to divine love within. Just noticing your heartbeat. Connect the heartbeat into the rhythm of nature. Recognizing the gift to be alive. Slow, deep breaths in and out through the heart. conclude we want to create some nice uh, shield around the body maybe that's like a circle or a triangle or both sit with the breathing and apply your breath to whatever pattern you're making around your body Begin to uh, bring a gentle smile to your face. Try and bring about a little bit of serenity and happiness. Slow, deep breath. Exhale, side out. Again, inhale. Side out, exhale. Both hands staying at the heart. Actually, let's do this. Breathe in, reach your hands all the way up. Open yourself up to the universe, to this world. Connect the palms together. Exhale, bring them down to the heart center. Slow breath in. Slow breath out. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the body, and ground yourself. Let's conclude with one hum or om. Breathe in. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank yourself for tuning in. 
and take care of each other, take care of yourself, namaste, jai.